Creating Categories in Your Weighted D2L Gradebook Create grading categories in your D2L gradebook to both better organize your assignments as well as dynamically assign point values and weight to category items. First, open the Grades tool from the course homepage by clicking the Evaluation Link group located in the default course navigation bar, and then select Grades. Navigate to the Manage Grades screen. You may need to click Manage Grades from the submenu located at the top of the frame. In this video, we are going to be creating two grading categories and then placing items within those categories. I'll create a quizzes category that will hold all of my individual quizzes and it will be worth 25% of a student's final grade. Then I'll create a written assignments category that will hold both of my essay assignments. It will also be 25% of a student's grade. The three remaining items will not be part of a grading category. In the image displayed on your screen, you'll notice that on the Manage Grades screen, Grading categories are shaded just a bit darker than grading items, which have no shading. It is also important to note that you must create items before you're able to enter grades in your gradebook. You do not necessarily have to create grading categories. To create our first grading category, I'll click on the blue New button and then select Category from the drop-down menu. I'll give my category a name, and in this example, I'm going to use Quizzes. Enter the category's weight in the weight text box. For this example, my quizzes category is worth 25% of my student's final grade, so I'll enter a 25 in the weight text box. If I will allow students to achieve a value higher than the weight of my category's grade items, I'll need to check this Allow Category Grade to Exceed Category Weight box. Otherwise, D2L will disregard any value above the weight of the category. If I do not want these items within the category to count toward a student's final grade, I can enter a zero in the weight category so that D2L will disregard or exclude these grading items from the student's final grade. Otherwise, D2L is going to calculate all items within this category and then put that sum toward the student's final grade. In the distribution section, I have to select from one of three options. If the items in my category should not be equally weighted, I would need to select the Manually Assign Weight to Items in the Category radio button. This option is going to charge me as the instructor with manually entering a weight for each item within my category. I will also need to ensure that the weight of the items within my category sum to 100%. Otherwise, D2L will display a gradebook note indicating that my weighting is incorrect. If I want D2L to dynamically assign a weight to each item within a category based on that item's max point value, I can select the Distribute Weights by Points Across All Items in the Category option, and D2L will evaluate the max point value of each item and then assign a weight appropriately. If the items within my category will share the same weight, I can select Distribute Weight Evenly Across All Items, and D2L will distribute the weight evenly based on the number of items within the category. If you would like D2L to automatically drop a grade from this category, enter the number of grade items to drop in the Number of Highest or Number of Lowest Non-Bonus Items to Drop for Each User text box. I'll enter a 1 in the Number of Lowest Non-Bonus Items to Drop for Each User text box, and D2L will automatically drop my student's lowest quiz grade. This option is only available if the Distribute Weight Evenly Across All Items radio button is selected. The Display Options settings will allow you to configure any alternate display settings for the category, but most often you will not have to make any changes to this section. I'll click Save and New to continue creating my second grading category, but if I were to click Save and Close, the category I created will be saved and I'll be returned back to the Manage Grades page. If I click Save here, the category will be saved, but I will remain on this category page. And if I click Cancel, any unsaved changes will be lost, and I'll be returned back to the Manage Grades page. So, click Save in New, and then repeat the workflow for the second category. I'll enter a category name of Written Assignments, and then I'll enter a 25 in the Weight box. I'll select the Distribute Weight Evenly Across All Items option, and then I'll click Save and Close. My category will be saved and I will be returned back to the Manage Grades page. Now that I have my categories created, I can assign grade items to them. And the easiest way to assign items to categories is by using the Bulk Edit option located at the top and at the bottom of the grading table. 
I'll select the Select All checkbox to select all items and categories within my gradebook. And then I'll click the Bulk Edit Action link. The Bulk Edit page allows you to edit the name, the short name, the maximum point value, the weight, bonus, scheme, and category assignment for every item and category in your D2L gradebook. To assign items to a category, first locate an item in the table, and then within the Category column on the far right-hand side, select the appropriate category from the drop-down menu. You'll need to perform this action for each item that you wish to assign to a category, and then once you've completed those category assignments, click Save to save your changes and then return back to the Manage Grades page. You can now visually distinguish between items within a category and items that are not a member of a category by an item's indentation. If an item's name is indented below a category heading, that item is a member of that category. If an item is left aligned, like the attendance and participation item, then you'll be able to recognize that this item is not part of a category. If D2L finds that the weighting in your gradebook is incorrect, so the item weights within a category do not total 100, or the category plus independent items do not total 100, you'll see a gradebook note displayed at the top of the Manage Grades screen. To resolve this issue, read the note, which will tell you where the error is occurring, and then edit the weight of the item or category to ensure that everything is totaling out to 100. You will know that you have corrected the error when the gradebook note disappears from your screen.